Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about just a few applications of converting from like minutes to seconds. So I'm going to go through these three examples. So these are all talking about um, revolutions per minute and then just trying to convert that to seconds. So you can see the three problems. I'm just going to jump right into them. So a turntable makes 45 revolutions in a minute. How many revolutions is that per second? Okay, so the thing to know with these types of problems is that one um, minute I guess I could use the shorthand here, is 60 seconds, right? So I can then say that 45 revolutions per one minute, this is the way we can look at that rate. Um, if I want to convert that to seconds, I just use some dimensional analysis. So I know that one minute is 60 seconds. So the thing I want you to notice with this, I used this conversion, this one minute to 60 seconds, um, I set this up though in such a way so that my units, my minutes cancel out. So now I've got revolutions per second, right? So notice what's left over. Revolutions per second. That's what we wanted to have happen. happen. So if I finish this, I get 45 revolutions per second. And then I just have to simplify that. So this comes out to three fourths of a revolution Per second so that's how many revolutions in a second you get three three quarters of a revolution so B is very much the same so a windmill makes 80 revolutions per minute how many revolutions is that per second so if I wanted to do this then so I have um, 80 revolutions per one minute and I'd set up that same thing so in one minute there are 60 seconds so then my minutes We'll cancel it out like that. So I'm left with 80 over 60 revolutions per second. And so that's going to come out to four thirds of a revolution per second or one and one third of a revolution per second. So that would be it. And then one more time, um, so wind power is caused by a turbine spinning 10 to 20 revolutions per minute. So how many revolutions does it make per second? So now we just want to find what is that range. So we've got kind of this whole range that we have to deal with. So if I start with the 10 revolutions per one minute, so in one minute there are 60 seconds. So once again, my minutes will drop out. So I'm left with 10 over 60 revolutions per second. So that becomes one sixth of a revolution per second. And then if I do the other one, so 20 revolutions in one minute. So in one minute, there are 60 seconds. And so this will come out to 20 revolutions in um, 60 seconds. So then if I simplify this, this comes out to one third of a revolution per second. So in one second, in one second, the turbine spins anywhere from one third, oh, sorry, start with the smaller one first, one six to one third a revolution per second. And so that's it. So that's that's how you can approach those problems. So if this is helpful, consider liking this video. Um, otherwise, if you have a question, you can just leave me a comment. Um, I check this channel and I, I try to keep up with the questions. Um, and otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.